hi! Sorry, I was enjoying my nice hot tea in this new crocheted mug cozy that I'm gonna show you guys how to make in this video. My name is Melanie and thanks so much for joining me. I'm gonna show you how to make this mug cozy in just a second, but I wanted to let you guys know that I'm over on the HGTV Handmade channel again this week. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday I'll have videos up there, so just wanna let you guys know, head on over to that channel, show me some love, leave some comments, let me know what you think of those videos. They're pretty fun. I really had fun with these round of videos so I will leave the link in the description box below check out the HGTV handmade channel let's jump right in I'm gonna show you how to make this granny square mug cozy all right let's get started on this adorable little granny square which we will turn into our mug cozy so there's a couple different parts to this video that you'll be able to utilize if you want now I'm using two different types of cotton yarn just because that's what I have on hand the lilac color is from Lion Brand Kitchen Cotton and the white is Sugar and Cream. So it doesn't really matter. I'm going to be using a G hook in order to get the size that I need for my mug. So you might just want to sort of double check that and make sure that the sizing is about right so that you still have enough room at the top of the mug to drink out of it. Uh, so you might have to adjust it a little bit. Now the first thing that you want to do is start with a magic ring. Hold the free end. Loop around a few fingers. Insert your hook into that loop that we created and pull up our working yarn. Okay, and then we take our working yarn, make a little stitch here to tighten everything down. Now we can adjust our magic ring and make it a little bit smaller. We don't need it quite so large. Now what we're gonna do is chain three, one, two, three, and then we're gonna do two treble stitches. So here's a treble, yarn over two times, insert it into the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over two loops, yarn over two loops, yarn over two loops. That's the treble stitch. So we need another one of those in this grouping. Let's get this one a little closer. Yarn over two times, insert it into the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over two loops, two loops, and two loops. So this initial chain three does count as one treble. So we needed to have a group of three. Then we need to chain two, one, two, and then we need to do another group of three. So you can see here on my sample, here's our groups of three. There's gonna be four of them with our chain two in between, and those are gonna end up being the corners. Okay, so I'll do one more group with you, and then I'll let you finish this round on your own. So we did our chain two, Yarn over two times, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, two, two, two. A second one. And then a third one. All right, now we, you might have to kind of like adjust it around in the, in the ring, no big deal, because at the end we'll be able to cinch up our ring really easily with that free end. So once we finish that grouping, chain two, one, two. So go ahead and finish that going all the way around. We need two more groupings of three treble stitches, and then I'll meet you back to show you how to finish out this round. So now we have our four groups of three. So one, two, three, four. We need to continue with the, the chain two because we need to connect it with this first group of three. So chain two, one, two. And then what we're gonna do is slip stitch it into the top of this chain three. So right in here grab two strands like that 
yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop on the hook. And that connects everything. Now give your free end a good tug. And now you see the center of our granny square coming together. So now what we need to do is fasten off because we're gonna change colors. So leave yourself a little bit of a tail because you can weave that in. And then what you do is yarn over and just pull that strand through, give it a good tug, and that will tighten it down. You need to cinch this back up in the center and you can weave these in now or later, it's up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and weave these in now just so these strings aren't in the way when we go to do the next round. So grab your next color and get ready to do our second round. All right, here's our center piece and sometimes it can kind of look a little funky. So one of the things I like to do is just take my fingers and the corners and sort of like spread it out like that and then you can see the shape a little bit better that way. We're gonna attach that in one of the corners. So this is how I like to attach it. However you like to attach the yarn is fine with me. I do not have, a, you know, I'm not gonna be the crochet police and tell you that there's one way that you have to do it because there's lots of ways that you can. Some crocheters really don't like using knots. So I totally understand that. I uh, personally don't have a problem with it. So <laughs> I sometimes attach new colors like this with just a little knot. However you wanna do it though, do that. You just insert your hook and pull that yarn up and then a little stitch and then scooch everything over because now we're going to do a bunch of, sti of stitches in this spot. So now we need to start by doing the chain three again, which counts as our first treble. One, two, three, and then we need to do two treble stitches the same as we did before. Yarn over two times, insert, yarn over, pull through two, two, and two. I'm gonna have to kind of scooch things over a little bit. So then one more, two, two, two. So now we're gonna chain two, one, two, and then we're gonna do another group of three treble stitches in this same space, okay? So yarn over two times, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, two, 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 number two treble stitch. Remember this is our treble. All right, so here's our corner. We've got our corner complete. Now what we need to do, you don't need to chain or do anything. We're just gonna start with our same, what we just did here, three treble, chain two, three treble. So we're gonna do the same thing in this next corner. So we just jump right into it, no need to chain. We're gonna do yarn over two times and insert it into our next corner. Okay. So I'm gonna leave you to it. Go ahead and finish doing three treble, chain two, three treble in here, and then go ahead and do three treble, chain two, three treble in here, and so on until we get back. And then once I finish this round, I will meet back up with you here and we'll check in and see how it's looking. So here's a visual of what that's gonna look like. We have our three trebles here in the corners and those chain two are gonna be like the points of the corners. Right, so here's sort of what that's gonna look like. Just something to work toward because sometimes when you're working on it, it can just look like a ball. And so here's what you're sort of working towards. There's the visual. Continue with those three treble chain two parts of our granny square and I will meet you back at the end of the round. Woohoo, okay, we are done with that part. You can see our stitches here putting my hand behind there just to <laughs> let you guys see. I know I have a white background, so it's a little bit easier sometimes to see that. So now what we need to do is just slip stitch, just like we did before, at the top of our first initial chain three. Like that. Yarn over. Pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook. That's a slip stitch. Now we can fasten off. So trim your yarn, leaving a little bit of a tail. Yarn over and pull it through. 
give it a nice good tug. So there we go. Now let's add our little border. I attach mine to the left side of the corner, but it doesn't really matter. I'll show you what you need to do in the corners. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull that around, create a little stitch. Now what we're going to do is single crochet going all the way around. So a single crochet is insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. You have two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. Okay, so we just did that in the top of the stitch. So we're going to go over to the next one. See these two strands? That's where we're going to insert our hook. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, two loops. And then we're going to continue that over the tops of all these stitches. Be sure not to make this too tight. Okay, now once you get to the corner, we're just going to place three stitches right in the corner. So just go right into this spot. No need to try to put it into these chain spaces, those, those chain stitches, I should say. So there's one, two, three. That will allow it to sort of curve around and then we'll continue with the single crochets in the top of those stitches. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Go ahead and finish your little border going all the way around. Make sure you put three stitches in the corners and I'll meet you back at the beginning. So we're back around to the beginning and we do, because we started here, we need to still do the stitches in this corner. All right, so we're gonna do one, two, and we, this one is sort of like a, it's kind of a stitch, but we'll just go ahead and do a third one here. Slip stitch it to the first stitch. So insert your hook, pull through, pull through, and then cut your yarn. Give that a good tug and you are all set. Now you need to make three of these. If you want to do the mug cozy, we need three of them. So here's two, I'm gonna make one more and then I will meet you back here and show you how to join them together and get them all ready with our button and finish it up. So all you need is a strand of whatever your border color was, grab a long strand of that yarn and a yarn needle. Here's the yarn needle that I'm using. It doesn't matter, there's plastic ones, metal ones, but just something to make it easy for us to sew these together. Thread your needle. And what we're gonna do is I want you to find this middle stitch. Okay, so we're gonna join the middle of the corner stitch to the middle of the corner stitch down here. We're gonna be working from the back side. Find that middle stitch, and we're going to work with the back two loops. Okay, so that's gonna allow us to have this sort of little ridge and you won't see anything. So we're working from the back, so these back two loops and join it with the back two loops from this corner. Pull that through, but leave a little bit of a tail because then we'll weave that in later. So then basically we're gonna go back and forth grabbing those back two loops and sewing all the way down. So we came up here. See here's our back two loops and we're just gonna go up, down, up, down like that. And we're gonna weave in the ends. So let's make sure this last stitch here was nice and tight. And now we're gonna kind of go back through the back side of the granny squares and weave everything in. There's not really like a huge rhyme or reason to this. Just weave it in so that it's secure. Trim the thread now that it, or trim the yarn now that it's all woven in. And now we're gonna do the exact same thing with 
this first strand, okay? So weave this end in as well with your yarn needle and then we'll get on to our buttons. I'm gonna attach a button right here. So let's sew our button on. I use an embroidery needle and I'm using pearl cotton. So it's a thicker uh, type of thread. I put a knot at the end already. So let's come up. I'm gonna place, place this right kind of there. So I'm gonna go back down and just take the two strands and tie them in a couple more knots just to add as much security as I possibly can. All right, so now that's on there. Now come up and go back through that button a few more times. Once we've gone up back and forth a bunch of times, now we'll go back and forth on the back side here to make sure that we stay secure. Same thing, leave a little loop. Just kind of go back and forth in the same spot. And once you feel like it's secure, you can trim your threads. Leave a tail so that you can weave that in. And I did one stitch here, then I'm gonna do a single crochet. And you could do this a lot of different ways. This is just the way that I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do like a little two single crochet strap. So it's a little bit thicker. Okay, so that's two, chain one, flip our work, one, two, chain one, flip our work, one, two, if you think of a different way that you wanna make a strap, totally fine. So what we'll do is we'll make this long enough and then we'll just do a chain at the end that will loop around our button. So continue making this until it reaches the right length for your mug. Looks good, and if it's a little big, no big deal, as long as it's staying on there. So now let's tighten everything down and get it secure. Cut your yarn. Give it a good, nice good tug. And then I want you to weave these ends in and then put it on your mug because you are done. And how adorable is this guy? This video is not sponsored by Starbucks, although I wish it was. All right, guys, what'd you think of that project? I hope that you enjoyed it. It was easy to follow. The description box below this video is a great place to find the type of yarn I use, the hooks, all those detailed instructions, the written instructions, the products that I use, everything will be linked down there. So definitely check that out. Also my website, melaniekham.com. So you can go visit me over there as well. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions for future videos, you can leave those in the comment section for me. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.